Hello everyone. So I want to talk about a topic um, that some of you who are new to the industry might have thought of, and I'm going to explain why it hasn't happened. So this is quite an interesting talk, and I'm going to have a little bit of a chat here, and I'm looking forward to chatting about this. Now, this you may not know this, especially if you're new to the industry, but about four or five years ago, a, a big tech sort of software company joined up with all the banks, well not all of them, but a lot of banks together, and you always probably thought, and if you're new to this industry, you probably have thought, like, why don't we all just have like a central repository together? And then it, that will save so much money unless we don't do that ourselves. The reality is this idea has been already thought of and it has not occurred. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, as Finerco got together with all the major banks and said, we're going to develop this brand new, amazing KYC, CDD, client onboarding system. You're all going to use it. You're all going to use the same thing. Uh, we're basically going to be, I guess you could say, a gatekeeper on it with regards to it. It's going to save you so much money. Invest in us. Come together. We'll, you can do, we'll do everything. You will not need to hire KYC people or do KYC yourself. That was the plan. Now, it seems great in theory, but five years on, four or five years on, it's not even close to occurring or coming into fruition. And during that time frame, the opposite has happened. KYC is getting more and more sophisticated. There's more and more legal and regulatory demands, especially around the KYC ultimate beneficial ownership rule. So it just never took off. This Fenergo was supposed to basically eliminate our jobs. It just never happened. A lot of people who are new to the industry don't know about this. Now the software still exists and some banks still actually use Fenergo. You might actually watch this video and that you know that you use Fenergo now. But it was originally, well not originally designed, but there was a plan in place that everyone globally would use a Fenergo KYC system. Um, now the reason it didn't happen is more or less legal and regulatory. Now, the sort of, I guess, I've learned a bit about this over the years, but people don't realize that regulatory science has changed dramatically, mainly because it's more of a compliance legal type thing. So basically, organizations want you to have your own staff. They want you to do everything yourself. And when banks or financial institutions would protest and go, no, we, this is costing us too much money, regulators were basically like, well, we don't care. You need to keep doing this. And that's why KYC jobs have exploded. Whereas AML jobs have, I guess you could say, somewhat declined because the AML analyst is basically a transaction monitoring in some respect initially. You know, but there's a lot, but back in the day, you know, there weren't the thresholds, there weren't the AI, there weren't the machine learning. But KYC has exploded because requirements have increased. People traditionally do not focus on it, and there were regulatory demands and fines that came out straight away. So the whole sort of utopia of Fenergo being this sort of gatekeeper, amazing software that everyone used, and instead of, you know, a hundred, a thousand banks, you know, onboarding one client, there'd only be one central sort of onboarding, it just never occurred and it just didn't make sense. I guess there were probably other issues with cyber security and, and just using the same staff. And, and what happens if Fenergo make a mistake? Then a thousand on board the same entity, etc. So it's not really, I guess you could say, in some respects, a, a risk based assessment. It's not good sort of operational risk management. And the whole idea has clearly just faulted off. So it's not going to happen. But you might find this now, and you might find this interesting to actually believe this happened, but the reality is, is that there was a plan four or five years ago to eliminate the KYC profession. It was a, a plan, like many plans, it was great in theory, but the reality has been much, much harder. So if you still use Fenergo or if you still hear about it, let me know in the, in the chat You know what you think. But this definitely was a thing, it was designed to happen, and it just never took off.